Hi, Ingrid. Hi. Are you being tough? Hmm? Are you so crazy? Ingrid, come here. Ingrid. The new addition to the family. Ingrid. Hi guys, sorry if I'm a little distracted. I'm watching the puppy and we're potty training, so I do not want him, her to go potty on the carpet. Um, yesterday I was nine weeks exactly pregnant, so I'm going to do my eight week update today. Um, <laughs> so eight weeks, I had a few days that I wasn't like nauseous all day long, so yay, win for me. Um, but I've been super constipated. The one day that I actually pooped, I weighed in at 168 point something, but like I hadn't pooped in like three days. So my weight has been varying between 168 to 170, 171 range. Um, it has been kind of a crazy week. My hubby actually hurt his back really bad at work on Wednesday, last Wednesday. So he's had to go to the chiropractor every day. He can't go back to work until he's medically cleared. It's just been crazy. They got their new puppy last Friday. So now we are adjusting to the four boys, my daughter, and a new puppy. So life is crazy. Um, but it hasn't been too much to tell. I still do feel like crap most of the time, but... A few days I actually had time to like get a few loads of laundry done, get some dishes done before I felt horrible. That's a plus. Um, but I'm hoping the morning sickness goes away in a few weeks because it has been rough, especially with my husband down and out because of his back and me not able to do everything I usually do. It's been a lot. <laughs> but my boobs are still sore, still getting bigger. Um, I actually, you know, I've been like carb, 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 carb for the past three, four days. I've actually been getting some good stuff in, lots of fruit. Um, I've been trying to eat a low sugar, ouch, <laughs> a low sugar, um, oatmeal in the morning and then maybe like a banana as a snack. And then, you know, I've been trying to do better. So we'll see, hopefully. I won't gain a bunch of weight in the first trimester. Fingers crossed. Monday I have my 10 week um, appointment with my doctor and we will do some blood work and all sorts of, you know, the normal checkup stuff from her. Hopefully she will do another scan and I can see if baby is, you know, catching up with growth or still the same due date or what's happening. Um, I have been having crazy dreams. <laughs> That's been happening. But, otherwise, what have I been doing? I felt good enough to go and hang out at my brother and sister-in-law's house on Saturday. That was fun. Except for they had all kinds of junk food. <laughs> but it's so funny, like, it's just weird. Like, they had stuff for nachos. I had maybe four chips. <laughs> some cheese and queso sauce and salsa and stuff but like I'm just thinking back to when I was pregnant before I would have eaten so much of that food I'm like I'm so thankful that I had this surgery and that hopefully I won't gain like 60 pounds I'll gain the normal amount that a person gains when they're pregnant and that's really cool and I've been loving wearing my pregnancy clothes. Like, it's so fun to shop for cute pregnancy clothes, and I don't know. It's just been fun. Um, I had my daughter take a picture of me in my overalls, the pregnancy overalls, um, yesterday. I think yesterday. Um, I have a hooded sweatshirt on under it, so it looks a little bit bulky, but you can see I'm totally starting to get a belly. Um, I went to church and I was like, oh my goodness, I haven't even announced it to everybody at church, just my family. And so I was like, they all can totally tell if they look at me. <laughs> it's so weird. I was like, I'm showing way earlier than I did, but this is baby number two, so that's 
expect it, I guess, but I feel like some days I look way bigger than I should. <laughs> but whatever, it is what it is. My body kind of does what it wants to. <laughs> the puppy is underneath the couch. I can't see if she's being good. Um, but yeah, that's the update so far. I'm excited. Like, each week that goes by, it, like, helps me, I don't know, not de-stress yet. But it's like, okay, I've made it to nine weeks. Okay, once I get past the first trimester, then it's once I get to whatever that it's safer for the baby if it comes early. It just helps. It helps my soul feel a little bit better about everything. Alright, I better take that puppy potty again. Um, I'll update you later on anything else if I forgot. But otherwise I'll talk to you tomorrow at Way in Wednesday. Talk to you later. Bye guys. Hi guys! It is later on the same night. Um, I had a pretty good night tonight. Since my husband hurt his back, he was at home and not at work. And I was like, do you want to come to Aldi and come grocery shopping with me after work? And he was like, no. I was, but you can leave Callie and you can go have some peace and quiet by yourself. So I actually got to go grocery shopping with no children. What? With nobody. I, I'm a nanny and a mom, so I rarely ever go anywhere with no children. It was wonderful. I got so much done so quick. And I got a full cart of groceries for like $58. I was like, woo woo! Um, uh, la, 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 la. So I actually felt pretty good when I got home. I made supper. I folded like five baskets full of laundry. I've been putting away my daughter's clothes. Um, I got stuff prepped for tomorrow. I'm going to make uh, like chicken wild rice soup that sits in the crock pot all day. Munchkin wants some attention. It's almost story time and bedtime and everything. But yeah, I'm like starting to feel good occasionally with the pregnancy. So yay, yay, yay. If I can just get more of the good moments, I can get some more stuff done around the house. Hi, yay, yay. All right, talk to you guys tomorrow because tomorrow's way in Wednesday. But I probably blabbered about other stuff besides just pregnancy stuff on here. But that's me. What are you going to do? <sighs> yeah, so I'm just hoping things get easier and easier um, going into the second trimester in a few weeks. Several weeks. Whatever. Um, I know the last trimester is also rough, but the middle one is, is good. I can't wait till I have a little bit more energy and I can get more stuff done and cleaned around here because my house is looking rough. Yes. But anyway... Good night, guys. Love you. Bye. Whew. Sorry. Forgot one thing I was going to update you on. Um, while I was reading to my daughter, I remembered. I get out of breath so easy right now at this stage of things. Like, I was noticing it last week, too. Just, like, nothing. I was laying down reading a story, and I was like, <gasps> like, I cannot catch my breath. Um, but, yeah, that's fairly normal. All right. Talk to you tomorrow. Bye.